Welcome back, curious viewers to Conan's show. Today, I've selected five videos with content that is eerie and strange, guaranteed to give you chills. Are you ready to explore the darker corners of the internet? Subscribe now. Number five. Years ago, I watched a video of a huge creature in Portugal's dessert. New evidence is circulating online, including a photo showing it eating humans. A tough man in military gear can't escape as the creature pulls him towards its open mouth. The creature's details match those in the original video. A bent back leg and developed upper arms are noticeable. The cone-like head and cyclops appearance are clear in the photo. There's a chance it's photoshopped, but if real, we'd expect more evidence. I hope it's not real for the person in danger. Number 4. Her spooky CCTV video of a woman's ghostly experience went viral in 2016 and has scared people ever since. Let's find out if it's a real possession or just someone pretending their house is haunted. The eerie events start late at night, around 3 a.m., when a ghost opens a door. There's some movement in the doorway. Maybe an apparition or just pixelation. The Seeker CTV captures her bedspread falling as if pulled by a ghost. Startled and scared, she's awake and confused. In the darkness, a spirit orb flies away while scary noises are heard off camera simultaneously. She flicks on the light, but it turns off on its own. Another ghost orb flies away, leaving her scared. Moving to the next room, paranormal activity continues on CCTV. It's tricky to see, but the light switches, her hand on the bed, the light going on and she's scared in the dark, fumbling for her phone. A final spirit orb flies away. Despite the scary video, doubts arise about its authenticity. Watch the corner of her pillow. It moves like there's a string. Instead of a ghost, it seems she might be moving the covers with her leg. The creepy noises could be someone off camera and the light might have two switches, one unseen. Nonetheless, this footage is terrifying. Number three, in Chainsy, police report strange events at the gym. Stan Perplex noticed gym equipment moving on its own, no one touching it. Police aren't sure how to investigate paranormal activity or stop a ghost. A video on the official John Z Police Twitter page shows the unexplained phenomenon, no reason to suspect a fake ghost sighting, as it could cause trouble. The clearer video has no visible strings on the equipment. Later, police claim a hooligan greased the equipment, but until someone replicates it, I believe the place is haunted. Number two, Adam travels from Ireland to London to investigate the haunted Woodrow High House, haunted by the ghost of Lady Helena Stan Hope, a grieving widow roaming the halls since the 1600s. Adam and his friends believe they encounter Lady Helena's spirit in the hallway, and I agree with them. And immediately the door starts like opening and closing. Yeah. <gasps> no, I'm actually scared. Wait. There's literally no draft here. Wait. I don't like it. Don't scream. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Adam panics as a ghost slams doors in the hallway where he'll spend the night. He respectfully addresses Helena by name, treating her like a person, not an attraction. This is my bedroom corridor, so I don't want her, like, Helena. And Helena, the ghost, calmly closes the door instead of slamming it again. The trio is scared, hesitating to enter, briefly exploring from the door. No one is seen inside, but it's clear the ghost doesn't want them in. <laughs> Finally, the nervous trio enters the haunted room, conducting their own paranormal experiment for more evidence. They lock the door to confirm it's the ghost slamming it, not a draft. Like proper lock it. Oh, is it the wind, Caitlin? Is it the wind? Unfortunately, Adam's head blocks the lock, and we miss seeing how the ghost opens the door, or if it was one of them all along. Number one, Julie Kelly Emily, and Liz form the Ghost Moms, a paranormal team from Kansas. By day, they're moms. By night, ghost hunters. 
Their unique style involves using various tools and a positive, motherly approach to connect with spirits. Tonight, they're exploring a spooky abandoned prison at Missouri State Penitentiary. The dark hallway echoes with eerie ghostly sounds, making it extra creepy. Unable to see without the camera, they feel an added sense of fear. Here it is again with the sound up. The supposed creepy voice caught on tape. It, it might be a ghost FP, or perhaps it's something else, like a bat in flight. It's challenging to determine. They place motion detecting paranormal gear where the noise occurred and managed to coax a ghost out of its cell. Can you touch that ball? Oh, touch the light if you live here. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh. Pulse and loud, scary noise from another cell grabs their focus. They put a music box on the floor to check if anything is present. Why is it speeding up? It's speeding up. It's not stopping. It is really strange. It's, it's really weird. They're scared because someone must be turning the handle to speed up the music. Yet, none of the ghost hunters are close to it, and it speeds up on its own. Why is it doing that? <laughs> oh, the rim pod's going off, oh. Julie. Rim pod just went off. Their equipment picks up a ghost in the hallway, even though none of them is close. It's strange, if not paranormal. Maybe it was a rat, but we likely suspect a sp after splitting up to explore each haunted prison cell for evidence. One of them hears what they believe is a spooky whisper, followed by laughter. Was it an EVP or just one of their fellow ghost hunters?